Hi and welcome back to another episode of Damien's Curry Counter. Today I am making my favourite dish. My favourite dish is chicken madras. Love it. Every time I go out, chicken madras for me. I absolutely love this dish. Don't know why, it's one of my best dishes. I could eat it all the time and never get bored of it. Never get bored of it. So let's see what we're going to be using today. Chicken thighs. Cashmere chilli powder, big grand masala, lemon juice, paprika powder, again, garlic and ginger paste, my spice mix, cumin powder, some turmeric, ground, not ground, sorry, uh, cashmere methylese, brown onion, tomato puree, and some cinnamon sticks. Now, like I said, Love this dish, absolutely love this meal. I find it, it's just, just nice for me. I like Vindaloo's as well, but this is my favorite dish. And like I said, I could eat this all the time and not even get bored of it. That's how much I like chicken madras or even lamb madras with it as well. Um, sometimes I add a little bit of potato to it. It's nice, it, you know, you don't, it doesn't, it, you don't have to have rice with it, put the potato with it, fills you up as well. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing this and I'm a, uh, Happy to share it with you. So uh, let's get cooking, people. So I pre-cut my chicken into small pieces. Today I'm using chicken thighs instead of breast. I've used uh, eight chicken thighs for this. Okay, so I'm hoping that this should do me about three portions of uh, chicken madras. So yeah, so I've got my heat on number eight for cooking the chicken all the way through. I don't want to burn the chicken. I just want to get the chicken nice and brown. That's what happens if the moisture in the chicken comes into the water, comes into the bottom of the pan, bubbles up. So I'll show you. As you can see, all the moisture from the chicken. Bubbling up. So, you want the, so obviously there's oil in there as well, so that's why we get a lot of, as you can see there, a lot of the water, that moisture that comes from the chicken breast itself. I mean the chicken thighs. So you just want to keep on doing this. Put the heat up on now, like I said I've got the heat up on the eight, and this will then burn away, or should I say make evaporate the water that's come from the chicken and then it'll leave it with the oil and then you have to turn it down because you do not want the chicken to stick to the bottom of the pan because that's where it starts to, uh, starts to burn so I'm going to leave that as it is Keep turning it. The more you turn it, the more the chicken cooks, and the more of the uh, the water and the moisture evaporates. And you can hear that's the sizzle, which is good. Yeah. So we will come back to this when the chicken is nice and golden brown. And after that, we will start on the cooking the ingredients what we need to put into the curry. Right, so I've left the chicken on number three. I'm just going to leave it to sizzle and like that. So now we're going to go with the main ingredients. So you want four tablespoons of oil. Okay. And we're going to put in now our cinnamon stick. Put that in. 
Let that simmer, let's take infuse the oil. in bay leaves to give off a nice flavour, nice taste, a nice scent as well. Okay. Now I'm gonna add my ginger pa ginger and garlic paste. So I'm gonna use Next that goes in, our onion. Turn it down. Have another one and a half tablespoons of water oil. Today I'm using Sunflower oil. Keep it cooking like this. I've got this set down to number six on the induction hob. Maybe to cook for a little bit. Keep stirring all the time. And now you want to add your tomato puree. So we're going to go for between four and six tomato puree. Tablespoons. One, two. Three. I'm gonna put five. Five. 
Give that a stir again. Like I said, I do like Madras. I think it's a wonderful dish. Keep turning it, keep getting it all in. Right, we can add some base gravy now. Smell. Give it a nice smell. Okay, now we're going to want to add our spices. So, in there, I put in my spice mix. Water. So I put in my spice mix, mm -hmm. some chili powder, Kashmiri chili powder, and salt. Keep stirring it. Okay, nice is that base now. In. Okay. Add a bit more base gravy. Okay. Give it a nice mix again. Like I said to you before in one of my other videos, the base gravy is what makes the curry as well. So you want it. All infused in that. Now we can add us. Oh. Add our kashiri methi. Okay. Another mix. Get it all mixed in. Smells lovely this. It smells really, really nice. Now we can add this chicken. Get it all in there. In, get all the chicken mixed with the sauce. Turn it up a little bit more, and add a bit more base gravy. This last part now. Now you want to dig out your bay leaves. Okay. 
and remember make free and you also want to dig out your cinnamon stick when you find it there we go Put it as well. No, so to add a little bit more water. So that's now I'm gonna leave this to simmer and cook through for about 15 20 minutes. And then that will be it. It will be ready to uh, to serve after that. So let's serve. Uh, let's leave it to simmer now. I'm going to turn the heat down to number four on my induction hob. And we'll uh, leave that to simmer. And we'll come back to that in 15 to 20 minutes time. And we're back now. This has been simmered in for about. 20 minutes and as you can see the sauce has really thickened up now really nice and that's just with a laying it simmer for like I said 15 20 minutes so only one more thing to do now and that's to dish it up So yeah, so we're going to dish it up now. So I'm hoping to get three portions. Good amount is that. Get it all out of the pan. This is the nicest part, this part. And there we have it, people. Three portions of chicken madras. And like I said, this is my favorite dish. Favourite meal when I go out for a curry to my local restaurant and yep yeah, it is just looking beautiful okay so if you want to see more episodes and me, me making more curries for you to watch and hopefully make yourself then please uh, subscribe and like my channel and I will continue to make as much as I can, as, as possible as I can. Thank you for watching Damien's Curry Counter and goodbye.